Funny vlogs. Philip Warner joins me once again. This time we're going to review Ireland's heartbreaking defeat, Philip, against Slovakia. Um, I suppose, Philip, we'll start at the end. I think it's the best thing to do, and we'll go back, if you like, the negativity out of the way first. Um, to lose in penalties, you know, it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty, even now, talking about it, God. Um, <laughs> Still a bit raw, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was nearly cursing you when I went to penalties last night, Keith, after you predicted it. But, uh, yeah, no, um, look, it's very unfortunate, but it's the look at the draw. And I can guarantee you, sometime in the future, it might be, it might be 10, 15 years' time, we will get one that goes our way. But, obviously, it's a bit of a sour feeling now. But, uh, yeah, look, in terms of the overall performance, we're, I, I'm personally delighted with how we played, and I'm pretty sure you are as well yourself, Keith. Um, but yeah, look, the main thing is we didn't go through, but there's a lot of positives to take from the game. Yeah, you have to feel for Brown and Doherty who actually missed the penalties. And unfortunately, you know, a penalty shootout doesn't go on forever, if you know what I mean. So somebody's going to miss penalties. Um, of course, yeah, of course. You know, the bad feeling when they when they went first, Hamshuk was up first for them. Um, yeah. You know, I was hoping they'd miss the first penalty, put a bit of pressure on them, but they obviously scored it. Yeah. Um, the, the penalties themselves weren't terrible penalties. Now, Browns was a, a, at a good height for the goalkeeper, in fairness, but it wasn't like an awful penalty, you know what I mean? No. Yeah. Um, Darty hits the bar, and then the Randolph one where um, he nearly got to the Padanka. Yeah. I mean, he's going that way, so it's too late. Yeah, I you know. As and as a goalkeeper, I know exactly what he's done. His weight has gone to go, and he's changed his mind. Which, to be honest, when you when the ball's kicked like that, and you have such a short time to react, I was actually impressed with how close he got to the penalty. Agonizingly close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Now look, maybe one or two. No, to be fair, actually, all the penalties that they had were very, very well taken. Um, I, I've seen a couple of people across social media saying last night that he was, he's not a good penalty stopper. But to be honest, you, you wouldn't expect many keepers to save them because they were they were hit very well with pace and in the corner. So, yeah, no, I, I, I thought he played very well overall throughout the game. And look, he could do nothing about penalties. As, as we've said, it's the look of the lottery. Like. He gets right on two of them. And yeah. There's no way you're saving them. One of them in particular, I think you've no chance where he gets right. Power along the ground you've just right into the corner you can't. no you can't save penalties like that there's certain spots of the goal you where can't you aim for yeah you're going yeah. to score from it from the penalty spot yeah uh, the Benka one is a nine because i hate people that score penalties like that oh ah, yeah look to be fair you have to you have to yeah you have to give it to the lad it, it took yeah. some balls to step up and do that like you know um especially in such a big game but uh yeah no um as we've said it's the look of the lottery and Hopefully, fingers crossed in the future, one of them does go our way. It might not be for a long time again, but still, this will uh, this will be in the back of our minds for a long time to come in terms of what we've missed out on. Now, going into the team, actually, the team we kind of discussed on the preview show, there was only one change to that team, basically. Yeah. He came in yeah. for Connolly. Connolly would have started. Um, this was weird, wasn't it? It was a mad blow, but it was weird. Him and Adam Ida, basically, I've seen, seen Kenny speak after the game. Yeah. And he said they were they're in close contact with the backroom staff who has COVID, but they were 1.7 metres or something like that in the last yeah. two metres. And, you know, it's a tough one to take because you're trying to prepare for a match. And, um, you know, I know they had a couple of players who had COVID as well. I understand that Skriniar and Lop I never say his name right, the guy for Napoli. Yeah. Napoli. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is, yeah. But um, them two guys, but they kind of knew about it. This was very late in the day, and as Kenny said, there was nothing wrong with the players. Very frustrating. I can understand it from the point of view of they couldn't play, because could you imagine there was something wrong with them and they played? It would Not be yeah. it, it'd be killed, basically. Yeah. It'd be war over it. But it's so frustrating. Uh, must have knocked us back. I think Connolly could have made a difference last night too, by the way. Absolutely. The way he plays and, that, and the way we played last night, which we'll get into in a minute as well. Um, obviously, Kenny was disappointed, but as I say, he has to be impressed with the performance. And you think that Kenny's only had this team for maybe six, seven sessions maximum, I would suggest. Yeah. To see us play 
like that. Now, I, I wouldn't say we should have won Philip as such. We had chances to win it, but they did have chances too, in fairness. They had a shot cleared off the line, they had a couple of little chances. Yeah. Um, we had chances, obviously, as well. The Brown chances, the Horahan one, he should have scored. He should have yeah. scored. That. Yeah, absolutely. Was, um, I was delighted with the way we tried to play the game. We played at a decent pace. We we're patient. We had to be. We created chances. Obviously, they did as well, but um, you have to be happy with that style of football. It's a big, big difference between that and the last number of managers, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think if you go back and look at the stats, Keith, um, I yeah. was shocked. Now, I know, we, I know there was extra time in the game, but we had 12 shots last night. Or at when least do we have, 12 when, when do we have 12 shots in the match? I'd say probably... Right? Yeah. Probably, probably someone like the Faroe Islands or something. Like you'd even be, you'd be pushing to get to have shots against them. Like, um, but yeah, no, it's no. not even the shots, Philip. Sorry, it's not even the shots. Look at all the chances we had. That if the final ball was better, yeah, There's a lot of opportunities as well. Yeah. So we must have had twenty, you know, opportunities in the match. Let's say if the final ball was better, there was a free man here. Why didn't give it there? So there was a lot of that in the final third. There was a lack of um, poor decision making basically in the final third. There was a lot of that. Yeah, um, I I watched I watched back the highlights this morning, and I have to agree with you. Uh, coming off the back of last night, I kind of said to myself, "Geez, we should have won that." And uh, I think uh, Horahan's chance did stick with me in terms of he should have scored, he should have. But uh, if you look at if you look at Duffy's clearance off the line as well, um, maybe that chance doesn't come because they shut up shop, you know. Uh, but like. Yeah, yeah, you have to be happy with the performance. And to be honest with you, I've seen a lot of a lot, a lot of uh, negativity across social media the last I haven't week. Even looked. I didn't and, bother. Yeah, a lot, a lot of it across uh, social media this morning in terms of comparing him to uh, what's his name, Stanton, wasn't it? Yeah, he was comparing Stanton in terms of the, the, what that what the rain's going to be like. But that's that's a lot of nonsense, to be honest with you. And I think we're at a real crossroads in terms of where we're going. Um, like. I genuinely am excited for the future of Irish football after seeing that performance last night. Now, look, I'm not going to tell you it's going to guarantee us, us success, and we're not we're going to go to major tournaments. Like I can't, nobody can say that, and nobody can predict that. But in terms of if you look at our record of qualifying for these big events over the past couple of years, um, it's not been good at all. But uh, I genuinely think now if we can give him a couple of years to get a solid foundation into that squad. Now, don't get me wrong. There is there there is a good foundation in terms of our our back four and our goalkeeper, but um, in terms of going forward, our final tour, uh, lads coming through the twenty ones as we discussed the other day. I think if we can give them time to ha- allow that to happen, uh, we have got a very very bright um future ahead for this squad. But in terms of last in terms of last night, I think uh, the quality we we could all see it. The quality up front just wasn't there. Uh, McGoldrick kind of picked up positions last night where I was kind of saying to myself, "What is he doing?" Um, a lot of t- not all the time, but I've seen him a couple of times picking up off the wing, which kind of wasn't what I was expecting from him at all. Uh, you p- kind of wonder if you put McGoldrick in the position where Horahan was last night, does he score? I think so, absolutely. I put my house on it early. Um, yeah, look. Uh, overall, it's it's everyone's disappointed. There's no getting away from that. But I could not be happier with how we played last night. Yeah, I mean, as you say, people are disappointed, but they have to kind of uh, look at it in the way and see the way we're going because uh, it's a clear yeah. blueprint. See, the thing as well, actually, you made a point there earlier on that kind of picked up a little bit as well is that the fact that you look at the last few tournaments, it hasn't been great, right? The Nations yeah. League, by the way, was a disaster. I think we finished bottom of the group, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, we yeah um, we were close to it. Yeah. So this is a great time to actually start something new because we're we're low enough as it was. Like, look, we're not going to be. I don't think we're going to get into a stage where we're going to be much worse to where we were. But at least the football's going to be better. We could have had a situation last night on the previous regimes where backs to the wall. The last minute of I think the second half and extra time we were the team pushing more than them actually if you notice we yeah, were the yeah. team creating the opportunities late in the in the second half and in the second half of extra time was us it's no way we're doing that under previous regimes it's back to the wall it's, how many times do you see hoof ball last night very not very often very little so. very little yeah. and keith I'll, uh, keith I'll just bring you back to a very very important point at uh, point of the last campaign can you remember we went one 
Denmark. Now, I know it, they're not the same squad. They haven't got as... Denmark have a lot more quality than Slovakia. But you remember, we did not shut up shop after those first five minutes. We scored, went one nil up, and we tried to play football, and we got an absolute battering. And do you know something? I was at that game myself, and it kind of it, it reminded me last night... Um, I remember we were 3-0 down and oh sorry, not 3 3 0, we were 4 1 down. Yeah. 4, 4 1. And um I was trying, I was singing my best, singing my heart out, support me squad as you do. Someone turns around and says, Oh, would you ever shut up? They're playing shy. But like th- at the end of the day, that that's not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking like we need if we're going to be successful as a team, there's no way we can do it without segregation in terms of fans and how we're playing. Like does you just can't do that. So I think like everyone needs to just take a step back, reflect on how we played. Although it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if we don't get the behind this, is, the question is, what is people's cup of tea there? Because yeah, exactly. They were, because they were, scre- they were screaming out for this kind of football, weren't we? For ages. Yeah. I mean, people went to games against Georgia at home. Sixty-four possession for Georgia. Yeah, I was at the game. I mean, our, yeah. I mean that's ridiculous. Sorry, yeah, they, Georgia, they had, but that's they had good chances. They had good chances as well in that particular game. But then, um, yeah, no, it just goes to show, like, there's there's no pleasing anyone. And look, I don't want to be taking digs at anyone, like, because at the end of the day, we're, we're regarded as the best fans in the world. But I think amongst ourselves, the, the negativity last night was just very, very frustrating. And um, it's, it's just disappointing because I don't know, we haven't seen any newspapers around this morning, but I just really hope that the tabloids haven't went that much because I personally think it's the best performance we've had in years. Um, as I said, the amount of attempts we've had as well just goes to show that. Just as I said as well, we're, we're just lacking that little bit up front um, in terms of yeah. quality or in the final exactly. court. Exactly, you're right. That's that a quality will, thing. Yeah, that's a quality thing. That will come thing. with time, Pete. That will come with time, you know? Yeah, and as you say, that's a quality <laughs> thing. That's irrespective of what style we play, isn't it, or what manager we yeah. have. We haven't got the quality up front. You referred to Steve Staunton earlier on, and uh, Steve Staunton had Damien Duff and Robbie Keane, for example. Exactly. His results were... It was shambolic under Steve Sutton, wasn't it? To be honest, could, you, exactly. could you could you imagine now if we had a Robbie Keane up front That's playing in that in, in that squad last night? We win that game three four nil. The chances if Robbie Keane takes gets those chances, we win three four nil. Yeah, not even that, but his cleverness around the box, we lacked that, didn't we? At times, yeah, exactly. Tom McGoldrick like, done well at times in that second half. He got better. Yeah, um, but as well, like you know, the, the final ball, they're not picking out the right pass and. Um, and runs and you're going why didn't you play him in he was in you've turned the other side there was a lot of that it was great to see that we're getting into those positions but there's not much the manager can actually do about that apart from actually you know more practice essentially and hopefully one or two of the young players maybe coming in and being a little bit more ruthless that's what you're yeah. looking for as well but the actual style and the way we played was very even Hendrik I know he had bad moments last night don't get me wrong Hendrik yeah. he gave the ball away one point a cheap ball and Slovakia hit us on the counter yeah. But he still looks more confident playing in that system. And the players look like they enjoyed themselves. I know they lost and be disappointed, but they looked like they enjoyed trying to play football. You'd Connor Horan pinging balls in 30, 40 yards out left and right. He doesn't do that yeah. on the previous three teams. He does a bit for Villa, all right? Exactly, we know yeah. what we can do for Villa. <laughs> but um, oh, it's great to see the Duffy and Egan combo I thought was decent enough. They weren't yeah. too square. They weren't too high. Um, I thought Doherty and Stevens were solid as well. They didn't need. You didn't want them getting too high forward that we get caught in the wings either, though, because it's four four two. It's actually five two. Uh, midfield's pretty solid. Alan Brown did do well when he came on, though. McCarthy got an injury. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Uh, Brown, Brown did well. He'd be disappointed though. The shot he had, where the keeper saves a near post. I think he mishits that. I think he's looking to hit that to the far post. If he hits to the far post, the goal. But the goal. one that hits the post is just. It's not. I don't think it's a sitter because it's not much of a gap. He's no, 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 yeah, it's very unfortunate. It's a lovely move, though. It's a beautiful move, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and do you know something? Um, I, I, ne- I have never said it before, but I genuinely, th- until last night, I did not like Callum Odelda. I did not fancy him one bit, but after last night, that lad has a very, very, very good chance of going and becoming a really, really good footballer for a good Premier League side. Uh, I was very, very impressed with him. Everything he done, I thought, was just brilliant. He didn't stop. It reminded me of nearly. Uh, it reminded me of McLean when he was twenty six, twenty seven, coming through. He was just full of energy and was just fantastic down the wide. So he he done a lot for us in terms of getting players involved. 
Um, he was involved in that move twice. I think he played one two, didn't he? With maybe yeah. Robbie Brady. <clears throat> he it? did, yeah. yeah. And I, I have to say, uh, Keith. I, I genuinely didn't write him, and I've I've never said that to many people. But in terms of if you think that he's on, he hasn't played, he hasn't played at all for his club this season, and he goes out and puts in a performance like that, I'd be shocked if he doesn't start the weekend. Or, well, next week, regardless for his club, like because I was very very I think, impressed. I think what is he, he's had a bit of an injury, but also there's been talk he was possibly moving on to a. Oh, okay, team. okay. See, I wasn't well, aware of he, that. He, he could still do that, by the way, because. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the 16th of October is the deadline. So you never know. I mean, if you're Fulham or somebody like that, I'd be looking at the likes of him. Like, you know what I mean? You probably wouldn't cost a bomb either. Yeah, he, he awfully did. Well, I, I, to be honest, I hadn't seen much of him in terms of. Mm-hmm. Well, I had seen a bit of him, but I didn't I didn't think he was a great footballer at all. I thought yeah. he was kind of robbing a living. But after last night, that's completely changed my perspective. And I think he's a fantastic footballer after seeing that performance. Um, it's just, I wonder if there's probably. A question there if, if he can become more consistent because when I've seen him playing for Ireland previously, he hasn't been on it at all and, and he wasn't my cup of tea. I didn't fancy him, but last night I was very impressed. To be honest, I was very impressed with everyone last night. I didn't think many people done things wrong, but well, you um, know, the point you're mentioning there, Philip, I'll just pick you up on that actually as well. It could be a point worth looking into. Maybe he didn't impress because of the style of football we were playing as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's it's given it's it's. If you look at if you if you look at everyone's individual performance last night, I think you can take off the fact that uh, people are allowed to go and express themselves. And the, I think there was a very good point made on RTE. This kind of expansive football that we're playing, it's um, it's it's contradictory to the fact that people say we can't play football. It completely contradicted it. Um, I know we didn't have more possession. It was very close in possession. I think it was they had fifty two. We had forty eight percent possession. But yeah, but it was what we done. Yeah, it, it was it was what we done with that possession. It, it completely just the last what 20, 25 years of oh we can play long ball, we can't we can't play football. Even that's, with good that's, players who've played like that. Yeah, and and that's ball. with that's that's with um that's with like the, these players that were with McCarthy like and going back previously like we were told oh we can't we can't play football. But that's just out the window now. That's no longer an excuse now, which I think personally is probably a negative for Kenny because with that performance being put in last night, I expect that now of this Ireland team going forward. Like you know, and I think everyone else should as well. Look, obviously the main thing is that we didn't get into the final and we didn't we didn't progress. But it's the first time in many years we can look back on an Irish performance and say we've done ourselves proud. Um, look. Obviously, they always give us a hundred percent, and we can like when we went to big tournaments like the Euros, we were very happy and delighted, and they done us proud there. But in terms of how we played, I don't think many people have had a chance to say that in many years. That oh, I was proud of how we played, not like the actual performance itself. But uh, yeah, now obviously it's 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 still sour, but um, look, it it's only going to get better in my opinion. And I've seen it with my club, Shamrock Rovers. It took us five years. It took five years for this this squad to change, and the the players to come in, and we did change the style of football. We didn't play football out from the back when we were when, when Bradley first came in, but uh, he got players to that point where they were able to do that. And I genuinely think Stephen Kenny is going to do the same. Like it or not, he just needs time. Well, I've said it before, like he's you know managed on dock, and he's had lesser players than a lot of teams he's come up against in Europe. And he's gone and got results. It's not just he's gone and got results where we've put everyone behind the ball one one nil. They beat Bate Borisov three nil. Yeah, and getting into the like these these players would have been better overall than the Dogs players. The Dog had played them. They played the likes of Zenit, lost two one by trying to play football. He his philosophy, you see, is uh, you could go out against these teams and put everyone behind the ball and end up losing eventually anyway. That's yeah. his attitude. So let's try and play football and enjoy it somehow, you know, to some degree at that level. You you have to get a bit of enjoyment as well and try and play football. And you see, last night, it wasn't just about possession for possession's sake either. A lot of teams can say we're a possession-based team. We pass it back. Yeah, there was intent with it. passes and, you know, this kind of rubbish. As you say, there was fluency. There was fluency. It wasn't rigid. And you like know, Hendrick was everywhere floating here. Even McGoldrick could drop back when he wanted to. Robinson was coming inside. McLean, you know, we had four or five players in the box many occasions. That yeah, that, that, that one was. Yeah, that, 
that 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 would that one word uh, fluidity. Yeah, that, that hasn't been associated with an Ireland team. It hasn't been. And what what I will say is, um, like we are going to have days in the future where we won't get results again in the very near future. I think now, not that these because games... the quality of player we have exactly and like. I'll take you back again to last season. I know it's, we're not talking about Ireland here, but if you look at the League of Ireland, Shamrock Rovers, we were we were miles clear and we still didn't win the league. Um, nobody, not many people call for Stephen Bradley to be sacked, you know, and I think we need to to do the same here with Stephen Kenny. I know it's completely different circumstances. This is international football. And these yeah, well, results... international football, you even get less time to actually train Exactly. These, and these these results don't, don't get fixed next week if you go out and get beat. These these are consequences that we have to deal with now for the next the next foreseeable twelve months. Like you know, we we're not going to a major tournament, and that's what's going to be there. But Stephen Kenny can't go out and change that next Saturday or next Sunday. You know that's going to be there, and I could see last night that it did haunt him. Like anyone could see, he was he it, that was it that was really sour for him. And uh, having spoken with him before, he, he is a really really nice bloke, and it, it does take a lot to 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 kind of get him like that. So that kind of shows how much he wants to do well. And everyone wants Sorden to do well, don't get me wrong. Um, but as I said, we're going to have days in the future where we're not going to, to get results. Obviously, with this, like, well, we haven't temper got a big your, Temper your expectations. I exactly, say. exactly. And we need to, to be honest. yeah, we need to, um, we need to, like, we need to buy into it. That's what. That's what I'm trying to say, Keith. We need to buy into that. that. Look, Phil, side of that, or we, we stop it, right? And we go back and we pick some donkey manager from the English yeah. League to come in and go back to that brutal football that we've seen, depending on what age you are, of course, could be for the last 40 years, you know, yeah. 10 years, age, whatever age you are, whatever. We could do that, no problem. Yeah. But, I mean, what does that like do? How do we benefit? We're moaning about that. So, how are we benefiting? Yeah. yeah. All the underage teams are playing football in the right manner. So we're trying, we're trying to get to a stage where, you know, it's seamless. So when they come through to the seniors, like it's the same style of football. So Kenny's playing a very important role here. He's playing a role. This isn't for me a thing. We need to get to the yours. We need to get to the World Cup. We need to do this. This is a, this is a, a cultural change in the style and approach the way we want to do things. That's yeah. what it is for me. Like, that's he, the way I see it. I yeah, think he, most people should see it like that. So, sorry for cutting across you there, but what I will say yes. to you, Pete. <laughs> Um, you, if you go and look at the setup that we have now coming through, um, people people are saying, "Oh, we need to change." I personally think change is not going to happen in terms of getting rid of Kenny. I don't think that will happen because this is not just an inter- this is not just a senior side setup. This is a setup that we've we've went right down to the 16s with. We've we've brought in brought in managers that are going to do what Kenny's doing now with the seniors in terms of playing football. You know, with Crawford and Kenny was involved with the twenty ones. We need to remind ourselves of that. Um, so this is not this is not a, a quick snap up change. If if the FAI were to go and change this for change and sake, but I don't you know, think they would, Philip. I, I, exactly. I'm just about yeah. to say that this is not. I, I genuinely, if the FAI were to go and get rid of him in the next year or two, it would be genuinely the biggest. I don't know what we're doing, like in terms of coming across like that because. This, as we've said, Keith, we're changing as a, a philosophy, a, a a barrier in terms of Irish football that we've been stuck to. Um, so it's people aren't we? We're not going to please everyone. There's, you can never please anyone, anyways. But well, most people, anyways, you can never please. But uh, in terms of what people are expecting over the next year or two, it's going to be the same thing, which I guarantee you. Come, I'd say this time next year, we'll be looking at it going into our next campaign with a, a really, really good outlook. Obviously with COVID dependent on all of games go ahead. But uh, I think if we gave if we get get behind them, give them that bit of time, um I'd say we're gonna reap the rewards probably I don't know, maybe the next the next tournament we might not get to the next one's the World Cup probably say, yeah. yeah, I I doubt we I much I don't think we'll get to that one, but I'd say probably the next Euros if we keep going the way we're going and Stephen Kenny's still in charge, I wouldn't see why we wouldn't have a really, really good chance of getting there. Not that we don't have a good chance before this campaign started, but let's be honest, if we go back to the first game, 1-0 against Gibraltar, was it? Yeah, 
one nil against Gibraltar. We we won one nil in Gibraltar, and it was it was under Mick. It was the worst game of football I've ever seen in my life. There's and an then, example there. I know we won the game, but you are telling me we can't go out and play football against Gibraltar? Like, yeah. And what I got, what I will say to you is, Keith, we'll go back to four games before the end of the campaign. We're pole position. We're odds on with the bookies to get through, and we still don't go through. And obviously, we end up in a playoff, but we should have we should have got through that 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 campaign and. And we had another chance in the, the sorry, the UEFA Nations League as well. We had another yeah. opportunity. We completely so it, that. To be honest with you, Keith, it's not like we haven't had the opportunity. Like the, To be honest, UEFA are nearly bloody giving us a pass into the Euros. Like it, They can't do anything else for you. It's too much talk. for me, by the way. I know it's kind of gone off a bit, but it's too much. There's too many teams now, I think getting to qualify for the major tournaments, I think, because it takes a shine off it a little bit. Yeah, but look, there you go. Team, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and in terms of that, that style of football, it didn't get us to that that competition. Like you know, if if that style of football had have worked, we wouldn't have dropped so many points in the remainder of the campaign after after. It would have worked by now, Philip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, now. yeah, and, and <laughs> we've been doing it long enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, look, as we said, everyone's disappointed, Keith. But the yeah. main thing is, is that we look back on this and say that things changed. This was the night that people started to believe, and I think that if people can do that and buy into it. We will we will change and we will be very very successful in the near future. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, guys, we we'll leave it there. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, and comment away. Let us know what you think, what your opinions are. See you later. Thanks, Philip. Brilliant. Cheers. <laughs>